Hey guys, so today I'm going to talk about conversion rates. Um, I know I talked about this a little bit in the last video um, and I went over my conversion rates and I wanted to talk about, you know, just some things that can maybe help you guys decipher what conversion rates are and how you can improve them and what it means with the Etsy algorithm. Um, so what is a good conversion rate? If you Google this, you'll see that around 2 to 2% 2 to 5% comes up as a good conversion rate. This is a little misleading. Um, as you can see, my conversion rate lifetime is 1.6% and I'm doing fine. Um, so just because you don't fall into what Google thinks is a good, or, or these articles on Google think is a good conversion rate, doesn't mean it's the end of the world. Um, this usually depends on your price point. So let's say, for example, you are selling a 10, if, my, if I drop my prices as low as $10, my conversion rate might go up to 8%. Obviously I'd be hemorrhaging money, um, but my conversion rate would be higher. So it's a little misleading to say, oh, I've got an 8% conversion rate. Well, well what's your profits, you know? Um, so anyways, so I did a little experiment this month where I dropped, so my lifetime conversion rate is 1.6%. And I dropped my prices because I stopped running ads. And I talked a little bit about this in the last video. And I'll go into more detail as to why I stopped doing ads in another video. But I don't want to get off topic too much. Anyway, so 1.6% is where I used to be. Um, and now I'm at 2.6%. And I only dropped my prices by like 20%. So if you do the math, that means I'm having, or my profits are actually a lot higher even though my margins are smaller. Um, so I'm, we're pretty happy about this and unless the ad situation gets fixed on Etsy's end, I'm going to keep holding this strategy um, for the meantime. Now if I was working in fine jewelry, something like half a percent might actually be a good conversion rate. So let's say you're selling something like a thousand dollar ring, I don't need you know, two percent of my customers to be buying them to be profiting. I only need you know maybe one person a week or something like that to be doing pretty well. Um, so, in the inverse is is I, sometimes true as well. If you're selling one dollar beads, um, you might actually expect your conversion rate to be as high as eight percent to be a good conversion rate. Um, and given this all depends on your margins and stuff like that. But, um, anyways, so. Why, why a conversion rate? Why do I need to worry about this? Well, one of the main reasons is the Etsy algorithm favors higher conversion rates. And it, they also, it, this depends on your price point again. So something with your price point and your conversion rate is what you need to take into consideration. Um, so if you're able to increase your conversion rate, your page rank is gonna go up. Um, Etsy, if let's say you're right next to a product that is a 2% conversion rate and your 1.9% conversion rate, you're prob I'm, I'm, I'm guessing a little bit, but you're probably, if you're able to get that conversion rate to go over 2%, you're going to jump that person, your competitor. Um, so the, ne the question y'all are probably asking, how do I improve my conversion rate? Well, this goes back to everything else I've talked about on my channel is improving your shop in general. So some of the basic things that you could do to improve your conversion rate might be, um, better photography, better customer service, faster shipping, a better return policy, more customization options, stuff like that. Um, just basically polishing your shop and making it a little bit more well-rounded and more professional is gonna help. Um, now, it's, it's a lot of little things that you're gonna wanna do. Um, that's, uh, I've, I'm already at well, four minutes, so I don't wanna ramble too much about this. If y'all have more questions, drop them in the comments below, and I'm happy to answer. Um, remember, I also have a Facebook page, which has been idle for a while, but I'm gonna uh, try to get back into that, and y'all can talk with each other and talk with me on the Facebook page, and we can get into more depth and figure out maybe why your conversion rate is suffering um, and you know where you need to be. Thanks, guys.